<clears throat> so I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to feel about this one, but uh, maybe I should be a little more okay with it than I am. But right now, I'll tell you, um, that was crap. We, okay. The Washington Huskies went into UCLA tonight and they won by a touchdown and we go to 5-1, and one, still on track to do all the things that we wanted to do. I don't know. I uh, was not very impressed with anything I saw out there. It was just... Okay. The day started out really well for us Husky fans. Um, Auburn lost, although, you know, obviously that makes our loss to them look even worse. It also means Auburn's going to fall below us in the rankings. Um, uh, LSU lost. That's another team that should now fall below us. Oklahoma lost, which will probably also put another team below us. After this video is over, I'm going to go see if Virginia Tech can mount a big old comeback here and maybe help us out a little bit there, knock uh, Notre Dame down. But <clears throat> the day was going really well. I, di I didn't think that we could have this many things go our way. If the Auburn result is even something going our way, which I can go either way on, but I kind of feel like it, it, it's going to help us. I, I like that. Um, so the early part of the day went really well. We get to this game. Um, it's a little frustrating at the start because we're moving the ball, but we make enough mistakes to where we're not turning the ability to move the ball into points. And we're not putting the game away early like I was kind of hoping we would. I thought we had the potential to put this game away midway through the second quarter. And we we just, we didn't do it. And by halftime, it was 24-7. to seven, And obviously, I felt really good. But at the same time, I was like, this really feels like the kind of game that we should be winning like 31 to nothing at halftime. UCLA has not done anything well through four games. Why are they hanging around? Why is this game competitive? And then the second half, the game got really competitive. We give up a field goal. We punt. We give up a touchdown. And suddenly, there was a real chance that we could lose this game. We got the ball in the fourth quarter <clears throat> with like 10 minutes left up a touchdown. And UCLA had all the momentum. If we had not driven down for a 10, like a 10 play, 12 play, really long drive touchdown right then and there, very good chance we lose this game. And the margins do not need to be that thin when you're playing a team like this. So I want to remove the offense from a lot of this because, look, the offensive line let me down a little bit tonight. I will say that. I think that UCLA on defense was playing a lot harder than we were. And that goes for really the whole team. I thought UCLA played harder, and they had a little more fire in this game than we did. And maybe I shouldn't be surprised by that. UCLA was playing at home. Washington won a big game last week by four touchdowns. Um, maybe that shouldn't be a surprise, but I didn't really like seeing it. So, yeah, the offensive line didn't play great. They had a couple of penalties. They gave up some sacks on, on Browning. Um, the running lanes were not always there. But everybody else, I mean, Browning played good. Not as good as last week, but he did make some plays out there, especially with his legs. Uh, he made some good throws. I have no real problem with the game that Browning played. He got absolutely, absolutely boned on a no call on a pass interference in the first quarter that was as obvious as any P.I. I've ever seen that directly led to his interception. So I'm not even really going to put that on him that much. He did throw it high, but whatever. I'm not going to kill him. Gaskin, it was tough for him for a lot of this game. It was. Things were not easy for Gaskin, but he kept fighting. And at the end of this game, you know, it's another 100-yard game, a couple of touchdowns, productive. And it was not an easy 116 yards for him today, but he... Grinded and grinded and grinded until he got it. Aaron Fuller? That dude looks like he might be playing on Sundays. And I did not see that at all from him last year. I thought he was a mediocre... Uh, you know, he was a two-star recruit coming out of high school. And to me, <clears throat> based off of last season, he looked like a two-star player. But 
The touchdown catch was amazing. It was not a great throw at all. That was an amazing catch. His long 46-yard reception was an underthrown, and he still caught it. Ty Jones, that awesome catch on that final touchdown drive, which we needed. I mean, if he doesn't catch that ball, we could easily have at least taken this game to overtime, if not have lost it. So, most of the guys on offense, I want to pull out of this, because I think a lot of those guys played at least good. Some of them played great. So, to those guys, I say... They did their job. We should have scored more points. I put a lot of that on the offensive line. Maybe a little bit on Browning holding the ball too long. It was frustrating to see us move the ball with such regularity and not being able to turn it into as many points as you would like, but I can't put this on them. What was going on with the guys on the other side, the defense? I did not see this coming at all. And I want to reiterate, UCLA has done nothing on offense this season. Their quarterback has averages well less than 200 passing yards a game. Their running game is one of the worst in the country. And uh, Dorian Thompson Robinson, I'm, I'm looking at his name right now. They kept calling him DTR, but it's uh, Dorian Thompson Robinson. He played an incredible game, guys. He might have played better than Browning. Close, at least. He made it competitive, and that does not need to be happening for a team with playoff aspirations. There were, I mean, that drive in the first half to in the second quarter where they drove down to, uh, I think, tie the game up with a touchdown. I was like, I haven't seen a quarterback move the ball like that on this defense in years. Maybe once or twice in the last five years have I seen a quarterback carve us up like that, man. He looked like senior year Andrew Luck back when... I get no. I guess that was after we we fired the uh, really bad DC that we had. But he looked that good for a couple of those drives. They ran the ball on us too. I mean, I I was a little critical of our run defense in previous weeks. I thought maybe we were working toward fixing it. No, we are not. I mean, Joshua Kelly busted a couple of big plays on us, and um, I don't I don't know. There was nothing really good I can say on defense, especially. No pass rush at all. DTR, I'm going to start calling him that now because they kept calling him that on the broadcast, chewing us up because we could not get an ounce of pressure on him. And if we try to bring that against Justin Herbert or really any good quarterback in college football, we don't have a chance of stopping them. We are going to have to score 60 points to beat those teams because they're going to score 59 uh, shocked at how bad that was. That was really the worst thing out there. But the secondary, not up to snuff at all. Kind of pathetic, really. Receivers running open constantly. Low effort. Um, I don't know. I, I, I've been very, very, very positive on the secondary this entire season. But tonight was bad, guys. And a lot of it is on the pass rush. But those guys played bad, too. Missed tackles. Um, just... A sloppy game. So, yeah, I don't know where, where where I stand right now. I want to say this is just a one-game thing because we were so pumped about <coughs> what we did to BYU last week, but that should dissipate at a certain point in this game. And when we're up 24-7 to at halftime and we have the opportunity to just stamp it out and score again and UCLA is going to start to pack it in. If we get that game to 31 to 7 or 31 to 10, UCLA is going to be like, well, this one's over. And we didn't do that. So I'm disappointed in the defense in particular. We just we we didn't do very much right. Our one interception came off a tip, tipped pass, which you know, that's great. Uh first play of the game we forced a fumble and somehow didn't recover it. That was kind of pathetic. Um yeah, I'm just I'm just a little down on the defense right now, and this is the first time in a long time I've been down on this defense. So, all right, we won, so things are still going our way. Uh, Notre Dame's about to put this game away, it looks like, so we will not be getting any help from Von Tech, but we got some help today. We could move up to number seven, number eight in the country pretty easily, I think. In fact, I kind of expect it, and um, got to get better. Tonight was not good enough. All right, see you later. Bow down to Washington, 5-1, and one, but uh, 
needs to get better than that. 